Hello witches and wizards, fellow students of the most famous magical school in the world, welcome to this new Hogwarts Legacy video. Today we're exploring some very interesting topics. First, there's more exciting loot for you on Twitch. For those of you who didn't get Merlin's cloak, you'll get another chance to get it on Twitch. And we also need to talk numbers, because Hogwarts Legacy has broken all records and in this video we'll discuss exactly what that means for the future of the franchise. So let's just dive right into this video. And if you enjoy this video, I would be thrilled if you could give it a thumbs up as it helps the channel grow a lot. Subscribe for even more content related to Hogwarts Legacy and also make sure to hit that bell icon and turn on notifications so you don't miss any more videos from me. Let's start with the Twitch drops for Hogwarts Legacy and be careful because you only have until today, February 24th, to get 4 items the Silver Dragon Eye Spectacles, the Urchin Hat, the Carmine Lightning Bolt Scarf and the Lilic Ensemble will only be available until February 24th. So today is your last chance. To get each item you need to watch a Twitch streamer in the Hogwarts Legacy category for 30 minutes each. It's important to note that you must redeem each completed Twitch drop before the next one can be started. So you can't just hop into a stream for 2 hours and then be AFK. No you must also redeem the Twitch drop every half hour, otherwise you'll miss out. Personally, I'm not too crazy about the glasses and the hat. The scarf is pretty nice, but the ensemble is actually really cool. And I think you can put together some pretty stylish outfits with it. So as I said, today is your last chance, so I'd say go grab these four items. But I think most of you are eager to get Merlin's cloak, which hasn't been available for the past 17 days. You can only get it by watching Avalanche Software's stream on Twitch. And finally, the time has come again. On Friday, February 24th at 2pm PST or 5pm EST, Avalanche Software will start their studio playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy on their Twitch channel. I don't know how long the stream will last, but you only need to watch 20 minutes to get Merlin's cloak. So make sure to tune into twitch.tv slash avalanche software today at 2 pm PST and let the stream run for at least 20 minutes to secure the exclusive Twitch drop. And I would say it's definitely worth it because Merlin's cloak looks really fancy. You have the constellations with the beautiful golden ornamentation and if you put on the hood it looks very very stylish. So twitch.tv slash avalanche software. I'll put the link in the video description down below so you can easily tune into their stream. I can't say whether there will be any other opportunities to get this drop, but it seems likely because they are starting a studio playthrough and if they follow through, there will most likely be a few more streams. None have been announced yet, so be sure to don't miss out on this drop and better grab it right away. And the other 4 items are only available until today anyway, so I'd say today is a very good day to watch Hogwarts Legacy on Twitch. Another very important point when redeeming drops is that you not only have to redeem them on Twitch, but you also have to go to the Warner Bros page where you link your Warner Bros and Twitch accounts. After redeeming the drops as usual on Twitch, you have to go to the Warner Bros page and redeem the Twitch drops again. Only then you will receive the items in-game. So just to clarify, redeem your drops on Twitch as always, but then head back to the Warner Bros site again and redeem the drop one more time. It's a bit complicated and unusual because usually you only need to redeem the drops on Twitch and then they are made available to you. Here you have to redeem the drops multiple times and only then you will receive the items in-game. That's a lot of steps, but don't worry, I've also put the link to the page in the video description down below. But now it's time to talk numbers, DLCs, sequels and future plans for Hogwarts Legacy. A few days ago there was an interview with game director Nick2 at the IGN FanFest. And he spilled the beans that Avalanche Software and Warner Brothers games don't have any plans for an expansion or sequel for Hogwarts Legacy. This is obviously a real bummer. I don't think anyone saw that coming and personally I thought there would be clear DLC ideas for Hogwarts Legacy and that they would have plans ready for its potential success. But apparently that was not the case as all their energy was concentrated on completing the main game. Kudos to them for that though as the result speaks for itself. 
However, all of that is old news now, because there's some much more exciting news coming from Warner Bros. Games. The numbers for Hogwarts Legacy speak for themselves. According to David Haddad, president of Warner Bros. Games, in an interview with Variety on February 16th, they've recorded over 152 million hours of gameplay, 173 million magical plants that have been grown by you, the players, 115 million potions have been brewed and 556 million dark wizards have been defeated all in just the first week after launch. Those are some immense numbers, but hold on to your broomsticks because there's an update. We're now sitting at a whopping 267 million hours of gameplay, 393 million magical plants have been grown, 242 million potions have been brewed and 1.25 billion dark wizards have been defeated. Those are some absolutely magical numbers indeed. And on Twitch, the game also completely dominated. From February 8th to 22nd, Hogwarts Legacy was the third most watched category on Twitch with over 55 million view hours in just two weeks. That's insane and it certainly speaks to the massive success of Hogwarts Legacy. But the most important thing, of course, is revenue. And I'd say Hogwarts Legacy more than delivered on that front. Since hitting store shelves, 12 million copies of the game have been sold, bringing in a whopping $850 million in revenue in just two weeks since its launch on February 8th. That's absolutely crazy. It's no wonder that plans for Hogwarts Legacy have changed significantly. Warner Bros. Games want to turn Hogwarts Legacy into a franchise that can be further developed and expanded on in many directions. However, it looks like there won't necessarily be an expansion for Hogwarts Legacy, as Haddad mentioned in another interview that they plan to develop and support more games in the Harry Potter franchise. So a sequel, a Hogwarts Legacy 2, seems to be more likely. Personally, I find that surprising because Hogwarts Legacy offers a wonderful foundation that could be built upon by expanding the world, adding new stories and perhaps new game modes like Quidditch, which everyone is eagerly anticipating. All of that would be wonderful opportunities to enhance the already solid foundation, add great gameplay features and then create a truly beautiful, large and comprehensive package. What about you guys? Do you think Hogwarts Legacy 2 is the right way to go? Or would you prefer multiple DLCs for the current game? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very interested in hearing your thoughts. As for what's next and when we can expect announcements, there is no information yet. But based on the phenomenal numbers, the future of Hogwarts Legacy looks very bright. But that's it for the video and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot with the channel. And also check out my latest video, which is displayed on the screen. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you in the next one.